Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be looking at Alicia Keys skincare. Okay, I'm actually pretty excited because Alicia Keys is known for her no makeup, just all like holistic living. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to see what she has up her sleeve. This video is from her Vogue morning skincare routine. So pretty excited to see it. I'm not the biggest fan of Alicia. I love her song with Jay-Z that goes in New York. Okay, I can't sing. <laughs> you guys know the song I'm talking about, but yeah, that's as much as I know about Alicia. Anyways, let's just get into this video. I'm excited to see it. Let's go. What's going on? I'm Alicia and I am going to take you through my daily skincare slash wellness slash hair care slash head wrap. Okay, so we're about to get into it and have a beautiful, beautiful time just connecting in our bathroom because like where else do you connect with people but in the bathroom is the best place. I usually get up pretty early. My husband's usually a little bit mad because I'm out of bed so early. He's like, where are you going? I might do a meditation. I might do an early workout. I might just sit in some silence. And once all of that's done, I come into my bathroom and I love candles. I'm a candle fanatic. Um, you guys, I'm already loving it. I'm the kind of person, I'm that girl that wakes up at freaking seven on the weekends. I wake up, I work out, do a little bit of meditation. I just, I need to get up early. It's just like my kicker. I, I just, I need that. If I wake up later than 10, I don't feel my best and I'm just not. If, you, if you're an early riser, you know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just that thing, right? If you're on the candle thing, I love candles. They get expensive though, because <laughs> you keep buying them. Candles just make you feel zen and at peace, and who doesn't like that? Anyway, let's continue. I like my candle. And I believe in setting an intention. There's something about lighting something um, something burning that's very sacred and I will think about what it is that I would like for myself for the day so let's say today I'm looking for clarity I'm looking for peace I want to have more patience because you know I am doing a lot of the homeschooling for the kids right now and it takes patience and sometimes I lose it so I'll light that up and then I'll put it on the side boom then if I've been sweating because I did my workout or if I did my meditation, you have to wash the face. My favorite thing to use right now is osmosis. My skin kind of requires a little bit more strength when cleansing, right? So I get my little pump in as much as I want. I wet my hands, I lather it up, put it on my face, mm -hmm. it's all lathery and everything. And um, it's all about going up on the skin and on the neck. So boom, I did that, deep cleaned it up, and I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, so now. Let me just see, I didn't realize how playful her personality is. She's like super like vibrant. I love it, I love it. Okay, so Osmosis Cleanser. Let's see what this one is about. Is actually not expensive. I thought it was going to be over the top. It's only $29. Wow. So it has lavender oil. That's an essential oil. If you have an irrit irritation issue with essential oil, don't even bother with this cleanser. Cleanser has no actives. If you watch my videos, you know that I like a cleanser with an active, meaning a cleanser with an AHA, BHA, to help with my dead skin cells. This cleanser has a lot of oils, essential oils, and essential oils just are a known irritant when it comes to ingredients in products. So it's definitely something that I would stay clear of, especially if you have sensitive skin. That being said, not a fan of the cleanser. I feel like it's a little bit basic. Moving on. Oh, feels good, I feel refreshed. I've always cared about skincare, but in a way that was very frustrated because I, I didn't always have good skin. I've learned some of the secrets and I've also found some products that work for me because everybody's different, you know, and you got to keep trying and you got to keep finding what's what's good for you. And it's cool. Sometimes it takes a minute. Like for me, it took quite a while. And Oh, wow. That's crazy. I always thought like I saw her as someone that had beautiful skin. That's crazy. To, to know that she's human, just like all of us. <laughs> that she actually had bad skin at some point in her life. So that's, yeah, that's that's interesting to know. And yeah, skincare is a journey. If you're struggling and feel like you've tried everything and it's not working, it's totally a journey. Just be patient with yourself. You're gonna get there. It's one step at a time. And I know that's corny, but it's true. One of the secrets that I definitely picked up was water. 
But for real, for me, I didn't really drink enough water. And I didn't even think about water to be a part of my skincare regimen. Water out of a big ass jug, like this. <laughs> I call this my coconut. I wanna look like a little coconut. Next up, I actually love this. So just know she's not trying to sell you the idea that drinking water is why her skin looks good now. She's just saying that she didn't think to incorporate water to help out with her skin, and obviously keep that moisture in her skin or a substitution for great skincare products. She's just saying that she should have been drinking more water, which we all should be drinking more water. If you go on Google and literally type out how to drink enough water for your body weight, it's all in there. A lot. Epicurean is one of my favorite brands. I was always fascinated that if you put probiotics on your face or your body, wherever you want, how good is that? So I love this mask, this aloe vera calming gel, which is awesome as well. Like I said, I'm always looking for something to calm, calm it all down. <laughs> I squirt it in my hand as much or as little as you want, you know, right there, that's about how much I got. And then the mask, if you smell it, it's almost milky or something. It's very much of a powder. So you sprinkle it in there as much or as little as you want, and you rub it together. And what I like about it is, first of all, it smells like there's food on your face, so you wanna eat yourself. And then second of all, um, it kinda has a little bit of a um, grainy texture, a little bit, and something about that feels good sometimes when you wanna just, it's like an exfoliant, but not really. Probiotics is something that's still being studied a lot. When it comes to skincare, it's like an up and coming, developing skincare ingredient if you will it helps the skin remain in a balanced state meaning that it makes your skin not appear too oily not too dry and also help repel like environmental stressors it's especially beneficial to people that do have a pre-existing skin condition like rosacea or eczema probiotics can also help calm your skin like she was saying she's all about the calming she mixes it with the aloe vera gel as you guys saw i have never done this before i have no idea if it works or not it clearly is working for her that's why she's continuing to use it i love this a lot it's called sacred rose water mm, smells amazing oh my gosh it's so good so basically just spray your whole body like around a thousand times as much as you need it and you take it in you breathe it in you smell it in what i love about rose is that it's a heart opener it's literally a heart opener which is why you know one would give another person that they love roses it really does open your heart. And don't we all need that? We just need to open your heart, open yourself, just be ready to receive all the good intentions. Rose water is great, it's calming. I used to use the one by Mary Badescu and it just makes you feel just zen and peace. Yeah, she's right. That's why we give each other roses because roses just make you feel special, so. The end of my kind of facial morning routine um, and I always like a good under eye something. So this one's really cool and I like it especially because there's one for day and there's one for night. Who don't like, you know, just attention, things like that I, I get into. Because a lot of times we're not even paying attention to under the eye, right? And I feel like let's start now to get all of these areas going well. I'm personally not the biggest fan of eye cream. Uh, just don't think it's necessary, especially if you're on a budget. Eye cream is definitely a luxury in skincare. The one that I use actually was given to me by uh, a chemist or coworker at my job, but I don't even use it that much. Definitely a luxury. So I just looked at this eye cream that she used and it's $450. And <laughs> I'm sorry, if I buy this eye cream or if you invest in this eye cream, they better change you to freaking Sophia Loren, okay? And if it doesn't, then return it because no, no, there's no way. Finally, just a little bit of cream. So this, it really smells quite good and it's also a sunscreen. This one is amazing though. We love sunscreen. We like to make sure our face has sunscreen on it. It's so good for you. Yes, yeah, sunscreen, 100% important. You cannot skip sunscreen. I mean, I can't say it enough. I'm sure you guys have heard it 10,000 times from other skincare YouTubers. Sunscreen is so important. I mean, even if you're a dark sister like me, you need sunscreen, okay? You must use sunscreen. It's so imperative to your skincare routine. And I've also, you know, learned that certain things on the wellness side and on the 
in taking into your body side. Um, I've, I've cut out dairy. And also, believe it or not, getting rid of the breads. Ugh, let me tell you, I'm the first person. I am a bread aholic. And then obviously the fried foods, the oil and all that in the skin is never really good. Okay, so that's the morning, that's the that's the routine, that's the wash, that's the feeling, that's the wellness, that's the goodness. So I love the last point that she made about wellness and nutrition part of it is so important. I think people, actually I don't think I've heard any other celebrity on Vogue or Happens Bazaar mention about nutrition part of it. Obviously talk about this dermatologist or nutritionist, but for me personally, I noticed when I did cut out dairy, I'm still working on the bread part, but when I did cut out dairy, I noticed a dramatic, like drastic change in my skin. Pimples were gone, literally vanished. So for me, dairy just didn't cut it, so that's gone. I will eat cheese here and there, but for the most part, I don't eat dairy. Um, as far as bread, you guys, oh! Bread, especially if you're African and grew up in a specifically Nigerian. You guys know we live and breathe bread. Bread and yam and rice. That's, mm. I still eat all of those things. But now I try to eat sourdough bread because it's a lot healthier. Cut out yam here and there, I'll eat it. Carbs are not the enemy, just everything in moderation. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed it watching her routine it's very practical very straight to the point she has it down and i have nothing to say here but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more skincare talks skincare tips follow me on instagram right here i post about skincare and skincare tips and yeah that's it i will see you guys in my next one bye